Welcome to another At Home with Arla and the Pastry Alliance of the Philippines. I'm Chef Allen of Balay Camacho. So today, I'll be showing you how to make uh, baked seafood etouffee rice. So itong recipe na to, pwede nyo siyang gawing uh, ibenta as party trays. Uh, especially during these times, maki Christmas na, maraming tao ang nagkakanap ng mga pagkain that they can enjoy at home, pero masarap. So, this easy, uh, this recipe is easy to make and easy to sell. So, enjoy watching! Okay, so first, so I'll keep up my butter. So, melt your butter. And then, we'll saute our onion. Garn and garlic. Next, so we'll add our chopped bell peppers and continue to saute this for a few minutes. And then, so after this, ang next natin is uh, taba ng talangka. So this will give a lot of flavor to our seafood etouffee. So there are a lot in the market, maraming nagbibenta ng taba ng talangka. But the best one I ha I've had is uh, from Puro. So uh, you can find them in Facebook and in Instagram. So nung natikman ko siya, marami na akong natin sa iba-iba. Pero siya talaga yung pinaka-flavorful. And talagang, as the name implies, it's purong taba ng talangka. Which is really nice, especially when you're cooking. Okay, and then, so after sauteing that for a while, I'll add my fish and my shrimp. So this recipe, when I computed for the cost, ang cost niya medyo mahal ng konti. So it's about 250 pesos cost. But if you uh, if you want, you can change. This is medyo marami akong hipo na nilagay. So you can change the shrimp. So pwede nyo palitan ng mussels, ng plums, or lessen nyo yung shrimp. You can also add squid para maging mas cheaper yung cost. And yung ginamit ko kasi prices are grocery prices. So syempre kung order kayo sa supplier, mas mura. So the total cost of this was about 200 to 220 pesos. So uh, kung gusto nyo nga, pwede nyo bawasan yung shrimp at other seafood. And then, uh, alam naman natin, pag, nag pag nagpa-pricing tayo, so from the cost, just times 3, okay, para makuha natin yung price. So for this amount, and for this size, actually, pwede nito ibenta ng mga 7,800 pesos, especially seafood siya. Tsaka nga dahil naglagay tayo nung taba ng talaka, very flavorful siya. So hindi kayo mapapahiya, even if you price this on a, a bit expensive sa inyo. Yeah. So, before ma-fully cook yung uh, shrimp natin and fish, we'll add our all-purpose flour and then mix. So this will thicken our etouffee later on. So just make sure that there are no lumps. And then I'll add my water. mix natin para walang lumps yung flour. So, ayan. So, medyo nagtitikin na siya. 
So now is the time that I'll add my seasoning. So this is my Worcestershire, my lemon juice, so my uh, dried herbs, so my uh, oregano, basil, and thyme, and also my paprika and dried chili. So, pag sinabing etouffee, it's actually just uh, a type of seafood stew. So, this is actually a stew. Kaya masarap siya sa kain. So, mix that. So, yung chili flakes, you can add more if you want it hotter. You can add less if you want it uh, less spicy. Pwede nyo rin i-umit kung ayaw nyo may anghang siya. So, it's up to you. So, I'll add a little bit of dried chili. Just to give it a little bit of spice. And then, So yan, yeah, kita natin, thick na thick na siya, no? So I'll add my cream. So this is Arda Whip and Cook. So ito sa lahat ng cream na, ginaga, na nagamit ko, ito talaga pinaka-favorite ko, ito Whip and Cook. So every time may demo ko, ito yung nire-request ko kung pwedeng Whip and Cook ang gamitin. Kasi nga, it's really easy to use. Uh, Maganda siya for cooking, maganda siya for baking. Uh, yun, so I can use this to bake, to cook. Tapos kahit na mag-simmer siya ng medyo matagal, unlike other creams, hindi siya nagka-turtle. So I really, really, really like this. Uh, Arla with and cook. So we'll just let this thicken a little bit more. So let it simmer na mga 3 minutes. So, so yan. So yan. Nakita natin. Mas thick na siya kaysa, sa, uh, kaysa kanina. So what I'll do. So before I put this over the rice. Isi-season ko na siya ng salt and pepper. So just remember when you season your uh, head to face. Especially kapag lalagay nyo siya sa taas ng rice. It has to be a little bit over season. Kasi pag sakto lang yung seasoning niya, nilagay niyo sa rice, pag inabsorb ng rice yung sauce, wala na siyang lasa. So it, it has to be a little bit over season para pag nilagay natin siya sa rice, magiging sakto lang yung taste niya. So yan, let's see. Season ko lang siya ng salt. So don't forget when seasoning, taste before adding before adding more. Again, I'll taste this. Okay, na yung saltiness niya. Just some pepper. And remember, pag nagluluto kayo, always taste. Taste every step. Para alam niyo yung lasa kung tama. Para alam niyo yung lasa na niluluto. So again, taste. Okay na siya. So it's now time to, for us to put this over the rice. So now, so we'll pour this over the rice. Siyempre, yung mga laman muna before the sauce. Let's make sure evenly spread out. So, this recipe would actually fit uh, 12 by 8 or 12 by 9 by yung aluminum pan, which you can use if you're going to sell this. 
So, marami namang available na mabibilhan nun. You can buy it from baking stores also. So, yun. So, yung aluminum pan, so it's up to you kung gusto nyo lang siya lagyan ng cover and then put your logo or you want to place it in a box para madali sa mga uh, lalamove and grab if dadalhin nila, if di-deliver nila, mas madali. Siyempre, kapag nakabox, si mabilis nila mahawakan, hindi lulundo yung ilalim ng uh, aluminum tray. So, so, yun. So, it's up to you. So, just uh, remember, kapag gumagawa kayo ng packaging, kailangan isama niyo yun sa cost niyo. So, don't forget to add your packaging cost to your total cost. Okay, para hindi naman kayo lugi. Nagpagod-pagod kayo at the end of the day, hindi naman pala kayo kumita pag binenta nyo siya. Dahil kinain lang ng packaging or ng other things yung uh, yung kita ninyo. So, yan. So, yan. So, overloaded siya ng sauce para Just to make sure na i-absorb yung rice yung sauce natin. Okay? And then, of course, finally, dahil i-bake natin siya, syempre, lagyan na natin ng cheese. So, this is just uh, shredded mozzarella uh, and grated emmental and grated na gouda. Hinalo ko lang sila. Of course, everything uh, comes from Ireland dahil sila ang favorite brand ko ng dairy. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung tray ko, I mean, yung baking dish ko, uh, may tray sa ilalim. So, para ano lang to, para pag binay ko siya sa oven, kahit na may mag-spill ng konti, mabilis maglinis ng oven. Hindi siya sa oven de diretsyo tumapon, which is harder to clean. Yung tray, pag may natapon man sa tray, ang kasang wala. Okay? So, papasok lang natin siya ngayon sa uh, preheated oven na uh, 200 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes just to make sure na mag-brown yung cheese, mag-melt and mag-brown yung cheese sa taas. So again, this is our baked seafood etouffee rice. Uh, it just came out of the oven and grabe ang bango ng buong kitchen ko because of this. Uh, I can't wait to eat it later. So I hope near here para maamoy siya kasi ang pangot talaga niya so once again I'm Chef Allen of Balay Camacho stay tuned for more videos from Arla